I am here with Justin Cotillo at the Steel Hill Resort here in San Borton, New Hampshire. And this place is beautiful. Can you Thank tell you. me a little bit about it? I would love to tell you about it. Steel Hill Resorts is a four season resort located in the Lakes region of New Hampshire. It's really a great property. We've got 168 keys here. Uh, each of our suites have a full kitchen in them. And uh, there's a lot of history to the resort as well. Back near the end of the 30s, a man named Nelson Smith, who was a, a high-end jeweler out of Boston, purchased the farm, which to this day you can still see coming up the hill on your right. And his intent was to, lar to run a large dairy farm up here. In 1938, a big hurricane came through the lakes region, and it wiped out all the timber on the face of Steel Hill Resorts. And at that time, there was a, a, a burge burgeoning tourism market in New Hampshire for people trying to visit from the city. And Smith saw that as an opportunity to take the timber from the uh, storm and construct the original main inn back in 1938. So the main inn houses the restaurant? And the main inn is the rustic building you see down near the circle with a large tree out front that holds the Hilltop Restaurant and Tobas Tavern. Uh, also holds a few rooms up top as well as the Hilltop Function Room. So your family, this is family owned? We're a third generation family business. My grandfather actually purchased the original main inn, which was a much smaller facility back in 1968. The business has since passed on to my father and now both myself and my brother Doug Cotillo are working in the family business. Now you have lots of different rooms here, lots of different sizes. Tell me about the rooms that you have here. Yeah, we've got a range of rooms up at Steel Hill. The first room that we looked at was our two bedroom West Townhouse unit. Um, you've got a master bedroom on one level and you have a living area on the next level with a bedroom with two full-size beds, large living space, fireplace, flat screen TVs, and a great commanding view off that deck of the lakes and mountains beyond. I know when you go on vacation and you walk in the door and you see the room for the first time, you're like, oh, this is so nice. And you, you want that and you do, you get that here. It's like, it's amazing. The view is amazing. Just it's so comfortable and so inviting. It's really, really great. Right. It's really all about first impressions. And on a nice day, as you come over that hill onto the campus, the view is going to open up to you. You're going to see the big glass pool building. You're going to see the golf course stretched out beyond that. And we want to make sure that that experience is carried all the way from check-in to when you walk into your room for the first time. And I can imagine that families come up here year after year after year. It's just so inviting and so great. We do get a lot of repeat business. Um, we like to say if a, if a guest is coming back for a return stay, then we've done something right. So now the bigger room that we looked at was the the larger room we looked at was the two-bedroom east unit. That's a little bit over 1,100 square feet. So it's really a, a condo away from home while you're on vacation. Um, that has a master bedroom with a king-size bed, full-size jacuzzi tub, a very expansive living space with a full kitchen attached to it, as well as a guest bedroom with two full-size beds and two additional bathrooms. On the rental side of the house, you can go for a lodge unit, which is located in the rustic original main inn, all the way up to uh, townhouse units we have at the west side of the resort, which are directly connected to our main amenities building. Indoor access to a fantastic amenity center with uh, 30,000 square feet of space, very, very large multi-tier pool. We're sitting actually in a south unit right now, which is a one bedroom unit built in 2007. So I think we do a really quality job here uh, with the rooms that we offer, granite countertops throughout, nice furniture, very spacious. It's very lovely, very comfortable. I could come and stay here for a week or two myself. That's great. Very nice. Now the, the view here is absolutely gorgeous. Tell us about the view here. This being a family business, I actually grew up on Steel Hill, so I'm intimately familiar with the property. I can tell you honestly that this view has never gotten old. And I really feel that goes for all the people that come and stay with us up at Steel Hill. The whole resort commands a view overlooking Lake Winnesquam, the Belknap Mountain Range. Uh, you can see Lake Winnipesaukee in the distance, as well as peekaboo views of Squam Lake and the Ossipee Mountain Range. It's really one of the best views in New Hampshire, in my opinion. So all the rooms are situated so you have a fantastic room no matter where you're staying? Pretty much all the rooms at Steel Hill have either a patio or a balcony that looks out over fantastic views either uh, of the view we're seeing off the front of this room or some rooms have views that look over to the foothills of the White Mountains. So you also can, you can golf here? There's a wealth of amenities up here at Steel Hill. For me, I think it's the best amenities package in the entire Lakes region. We've got a nine hole executive golf course. We've got a full size basketball court. There's a soccer pitch. We've got tennis courts. We've got two indoor pools. Uh, two outdoor pools a brand new fitness center up in the amenity building, 
as well as uh, indoor racquetball and uh, some gaming facilities for the kids to play video games. And now you're a year-round resort. There's something to do here all year long, right? Oh, absolutely. I, I, guests, some guests will come here and use this as a home away from home to visit the Lakes region, and this will be their home base to have almost a house while they're staying in the Lakes region. And they'll go out to rent boats and, and visit the towns along the lakes and so forth. A uh, big contingent of guests will come up here and stay for the entire week and never really leave the property. Uh, we do have the added advantage of having an on-site restaurant to allow people to stay in their rooms, go eat in the restaurant, and then kick back by the pool and read a book in the summertime or go in the indoor pools in the wintertime. I, I love the fact, too, that, like you said, all of the rooms here have kitchens. So when families come up, they can cook some of the meals in the kitchen if they want, you know, breakfast, lunch, and then go to your nice restaurant for dinner. Absolutely. If you're traveling with kids, uh, everybody knows this has been traveled with kids before. Many times after a long uh, road trip to get up to the resort, you just want to sit back in the unit, maybe cook up some macaroni and cheese, and spend some quality time in front of your flat screen television and just start the relaxing process. Sounds good to me. Now you also do some great weddings up here. Tell us about your weddings. Weddings are a big drop at Steel Hill. We have the advantage of, as I said again, one of the absolute best views in New Hampshire. We do a lot of weddings up here. There's three different wedding venues that we offer on the property from our carriage house facility to the hilltop function room, which is adjacent to the restaurant, all the way to a new facility we're offering now, which is a tented wedding facility to have beautiful outdoor weddings that really command great views of the lake. The nature around here is so beautiful. You see, you see a lot of animals out here. Absolutely, there's a lot of wildlife up here. Uh, you know, you can see sometimes foxes out on the golf course, uh, all the way to deer, sometimes even moose will tramps along the edge of the golf course. It's really a great chance for a family living in Boston, for example, can come up here in about an hour and a half drive, and we have a 550 acre campus that's on top of a mountaintop surrounded by hardwood forest. So you can go right from the city to having this basically relaxing oasis up here in the Lakes region to turn off and calm down and enjoy time with the family, which is really important. It is amazing how close you really are to Boston. You wouldn't think so, but it's not its not that far. It's really not that far. You go right up 93 and off of exit 20, and we're a short ride up a brand new road to the top of this mountain. So now you have hiking trails here? The hiking trails for me, growing up here, uh, were always one of my absolutely favorite amenities. And this goes for the summertime period all the way through the winter period. We've got about five miles of hiking trails that wrap around the entire campus, uh, up and down the hills, through some fielded areas, as well as through some ponds. And in the summer, you get a nice day with some great weather. You can take a picnic out there and hike around for basically the entire day and never really leave Steel Hill. Uh, in the winter time, we, we rent out uh, snowshoes for the guests to go out there and really enjoy the winter scenery. Now, a lot of skiers come up here too because you're close to Gunstock. Absolutely, the ski season is a big deal for us up at Steel Hill. Uh, we've got a nice mix of having a large indoor Roman spa. So basically, skiers can come up here and visit a local mountain like Gunstock Mountain, which is only about 20 minutes away, and then come back to the resort after a long day of skiing and kind of cool their muscles uh, in the Roman spa facilities. Also, uh, Loon Mountain and Waterville Mountain are just short drives from the resort as well. You can accommodate all sorts of families, couples and families with lots of kids. And so some of the places, some of these two, some of the two room places sleep up to how many people? Eight people? Our highest occupancy room is up to eight people. So you can bring your entire family up here and really have a great vacation getaway with the family. And we do cater to a lot of families. Um, but just due to the nature of the location, if couples are looking to get away and have a romantic moment to be able to enjoy some wine on their deck overlooking that view, uh, it is a really good spot for that as well. And you see, we'll see a different mix of people throughout the summer season versus the leaf peeping season where we get that awesome foliage from the top of the hill here. I, I really love your pool area, the indoor pool with the slide. Kids must love that to go down the slide and you have a little uh, toddler sort of area where it's little, little kids can go and swim. And Absolutely, kids just love that facility and it's really one of the biggest draws for the whole resort. Um, it's an indoor atrium, it's a very, very large multi-tier pool, 45,000 gallons. Uh, we've got a very large slide that goes from the top tier all the way down to the main pool facility. It's next to our large Roman spa, which has a mini waterfall that flows into it. And then as you said, there's the kiddie pool area with a much smaller slide that allows the kids to go down the slide and have a good time and splash around in the water. I think I would come and just spend the whole day just sliding. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> I've done that a few times myself yeah. before. That's really great.
And now this is one of your function rooms that you have for weddings here. Absolutely, we're in the uh, Hilltop function room here, which is directly adjacent to the Hilltop restaurant and Tobas Tavern. So tell us a little bit about what you do for weddings up here at Steel Hill. So Steel Hill is a just fantastic wedding location. We've got unbelievable views, great food, um, and, a, and a big tradition of doing lots of weddings up here and doing them well. So now you have three different areas that you can have wedding receptions here. So Absolutely, we've got the uh, Hilltop function room, which we're sitting in right now. Uh, this can hold around 180 people. It's in the original inn building, which gives you a nice rustic New England flair. Um, four seasons, you can come here, have a wedding in the wintertime, have a wedding in the summertime. Um, and each time it's going to afford you a fantastic view and give you a really quality, authentic New England experience for your wedding. Beyond that, we have the Carriage House, which is a, a facility located a little bit further down the hill. We took what was originally the stables for the riding horses when the resort had riding horses back in the day and converted that to a beautiful function facility. That function facility can do about 100 people. It's uh, 1,800 square feet and it has over 30 foot vaulted ceilings in the function space, all based around a uh, nice stone fireplace. Very so it's a, it's a really, uh, really great rustic kind of farm feeling to have your wedding. And it gives you the space to really enjoy yourself too because it's disconnected from the rest of the resort. And the third choice is an outdoor. Absolutely, and we're really excited about this. Um, this year, actually, we've done a lot of construction on a new parking facility, as well as a new pad for our three pole tent. Uh, it's a 40 by 80 tent, gives you ample room for 180 people plus, and it is positioned right on the golf course overlooking fantastic views of the Lakes region. Uh, we're all really excited about it, and uh, I think that when we bring people up here to take a look at it, they're really going to love it. So now when a bride and groom decide, well, we want to have our wedding at Steel Hill, what's the first step? What do they do? The first step is to get in touch with our Director of Hospitality Sales, and she's going to sit down with them and walk them through all the options they have available to them. Really, we specialize in delivering what people want up at Steel Hill. So we will uh, be flexible and go out of our way to provide what you need for your wedding. It's not a cookie cutter process. We want you to have something special on your special day. And so, and people when they come up and they set, they have a certain price and they know what the price is, there's no hidden cost, everything's up front and they know exactly what they're getting. Absolutely. Our Director of Hospitality Sales is going to sit down with you as a couple about to get married tell you all the great things we can do for you, how we can go out of our way to service your special needs on your special day, and be transparent and upfront about your pricing. Another great thing too, being here at a resort, uh, the wedding party can come up beforehand, spend a couple of days prior to the wedding, have a good time, relax, and then go into the wedding and maybe stay a little time afterwards. Plenty of people take advantage of the fact that we have such a great amenity package up here at Steel Hill Resorts. It's not unusual whatsoever to have the whole party come up the day before and spend the day out in the golf course, swimming in the pools, enjoying themselves by one of the outdoor bars in the summertime, and then have the next day to really celebrate their special day together. So tell me how you work the seasons into the weddings that you do up here. Being in New England, there's obviously a wide range of seasons up here at Steel Hill, and we are on a mountaintop, so uh, it really depends upon what the couple is looking for for their wedding. Uh, we do fantastic winter weddings up here. This is a great winter setting. You're sitting in a rustic inn on a mountaintop with a beautiful white pristine landscape stretched out before you. In the fall, the colors up here are absolutely mind-blowing. It's a great time to get married. Uh, it's, it's really second to none in terms of what you see for scenery, and that can really lend itself to add to your, your wedding event. And then obviously in the summertime, you've got full access to all the outdoor facilities, as well as beautiful weather, and wow. really everything you really want to have on a great wedding day. When, when a couple comes up and they want to talk about the food, how do you work the whole menu thing with the wedding? So we put our wedding packet right online for people to be able to peruse the options for both the buffets and the plated menus. Um, obviously the chef can do special things for people um, depending upon what their needs are, but they're going to sit down with a director of hospitality sales and she'll be able to walk you through. Here's some of the options for the buffet side. Um, there's a range of choices depending upon price as well as a variety of plated options for them to have a plated wedding if they so choose. Well, it's been many, many, many years since I was married, so how far in advance do you start planning your wedding? When should they contact you if they want to have a wedding here? Well, in the high season, uh, you know, throughout the summer and into the fall period, there is a lot of demand for weddings up at Steel Hill. So uh, I would anticipate to have at least a year out to eight months out to really get in touch with us, to be able to slot you in for the day that suits your needs. Mm -hmm. 
Um, in the lower season, there is more flexibility. We do still have a lot of venues up here, so we can shuffle things around and really service your wedding uh, in a pretty flexible manner during that season. You also can have your rehearsal dinner here? Absolutely. We really do specialize in servicing all the social events surrounding a wedding. So you can have your rehearsal dinner here, have the wedding here. A lot of people will come for brunch in the Hilltop restaurant after the wedding to kind of recover a little bit from the festivities of the night before. And we also do a wide variety of uh, small business meetings, uh, conferences, and really other functions to service other needs beyond weddings as well up at the resort. So when, if people want to find out more about the weddings and services you have available, everything's on your website? Absolutely. We put a wealth of information from pictures to full videos to our actual wedding packet on the website. Uh, to access that, you would go to steelhill.com and then go to our wedding page. So maybe I'll get married again when I come back. There you go. To my same husband, though. We'll just have a, <laughs> another wedding. <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs>I am here at the Hilltop Restaurant here at the Steel Hill Resort. This place is really great. I love the view. Thank you. The what view is really fantastic out the front of this restaurant. What are we seeing out there? So from the big picture windows here in the L of the Hilltop, you can see up front and personal uh, Lake Winnesquam, and in the background you see the Beltman Mountain Range. Off to the distance in the left, you'll see Lake Winnipesaukee and the Ossipee Mountains, and then a peekaboo view of Squam Lake. So you have people sit here and not leave because it's just so beautiful? We do have people order appetizers and hang out for a while. It's a, it's a tendency up here at the hilltop. I can see why. Now you have a new chef that's brought a new menu to your restaurant. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about your, your menu here. Our menu here is really uh, New England comfort foods with a emphasis on fresh. Um, we try, we, we get the food delivered six days a week and we try to make sure that the customers have the freshest ingredients for the food that we're going to deliver to their plates. That's great. Now you have a lot of seafood offerings. Absolutely. Okay, now this is one of your appetizers and tell me about this. So this first selection here is the seafood chowder. Uh, this is the Hilltop's take on a classic New England cuisine. Basically it's loaded up with uh, main shrimp, bay scallops, lump crab, in a lobster stock with butter and heavy cream. So yes. really a, a rich and hearty chowder. Very rich, very, very creamy, and you are, it has so much seafood in there. It's a, people eat this and they continue to eat afterwards? Sometimes it can be <laughs> difficult. <laughs> so you have a really great wine selection here. And um, what, what wine would you pair with this chowder? So we just rolled out a new wine list here at Steel Hill, um, and the Hilltop is showcasing a Bridalwood Pinot Noir with the chowder to kind of complement the seafood side of things. So now if someone wine. comes in and they don't know that much about wine or they don't know what would pair well, would you make suggestions for them? Absolutely. Our wait staff would be prepared to walk them through the new wine list and uh, help them pair the foods with the appropriate wines. Okay. So you have a great looking salmon over there. Can you tell me about that? So this is the salmon dish off of the uh, new summer menu and it is Atlantic salmon that's been pan seared and it's served over a bed of uh, wilted baby spinach with some broccolini on the side and it's topped off with a sun-dried tomato and Kalamata olive tapenade. So right. really you get the iron of the uh, spinach with the oils of the salmon and a little bit of saltiness from the toppings. And very healthy too, I might add. Absolutely. So what wine would you pair with that dish? So with the salmon we would suggest a Riesling. Uh, it's a German wine. It's a clean slate Riesling. Nice crisp flavor to complement the fish. Now in front of you there is uh, the chicken salt and boca. Absolutely. This is our chicken salt and boca. It's a tender boneless breast of chicken sautéed with prosciutto, uh, fresh sage with marsala wine and that's all served over buffalo mozzarella ravioli which your standard ravioli may be a ricotta style ravioli. This has the fresh buffalo mozzarella to really add to the flavor of the uh, more salty prosciutto. Um, the chicken's very tender and the, and the sauce is so sweet. It's a great pairing, it's very good. I like that. So what wine would you pair with this? With the chicken salt and boca, we would pair that with an apothic white, which is a mixture of Chardonnay, Riesling, and Moscata. Very complex flavors that really go well with the, the different saltiness and mozzarella cheese you're going to have in that dish. Now the Hilltop restaurant is open to the public. You don't have to stay here at the resort in order to eat here, correct? Absolutely. A common misconception is that the Hilltop is 
akin to a private country club. Really, anybody can come up the hill off the street, come into the hilltop and have a fantastic meal and enjoy the views up the front of the building. It would be silly not to come up here. They would really, be silly. They would. Now you we have encourage some, locals to come up. Yes. They, now you have some beautiful looking desserts here, and these are seasonal desserts. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this, in this beautiful glass here. Okay, so this is our grape nut custard. It's a homemade dessert, a uh, nice creamy custard. You'll notice a little taste of vanilla in there, and it's topped off with both cinnamon and as well as whipped cream. And it really helps complement that nutty, grainy flavor of the grape nut that's in there. Mm, I love grape nut. Me too. That is really good. You don't see that that often either. either. No. no. And we do use a bit of butter in there, but if you're going to have dessert, you may as well be enjoying Might as yourself. Well. That's, that's now, this is a good summer kind of dessert with all the berries, so tell me about that. So this is our berry shortcake. It's uh, orange sour cream biscuits, which are home baked. Uh, it really showcases our chef's love for baking. And it's stuffed full of strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, with a touch of mint, and as well as some whipped cream. For this meal, we've paired that one with a Canyon Road Moscata. So you have a great bar area too, and you also have a tavern here. We do, we have Tova's Tavern. Uh, it's, a, it's a full bar connected to a nice cozy tavern. Uh, there's a fireplace, so you can warm yourself by the fireplace in the wintertime, or just uh, scoot up to the bar in the summer and have a nice tap beer. And you have some really great signature martinis here, so what am I drinking here? You are drinking a key lime pie martini there uh, with graham crackers coating the rim. Hi, welcome. My name is Paleana. I'm one of the bartenders here at Steel Hill Resorts. Today we'll be uh, making our signature drink called the key lime martini. Filling the glasses first. This drink starts with Pinnacle Cake Martini Vodka. Next, I'll be adding Cointreau for a nice orange flavor. Next, we'll be adding our ice cream base. Shake this up. Garnish the rim with crushed graham cracker crust, fresh squeeze of lime. A little touch of whipped cream here. I'd like to add a little bit more graham cracker to the top. and lime to make it complete. You can have lunch and dinner here seven days a week? In the low season, the Hilltop restaurant is closed on Wednesdays. In the high summer season, we are open for breakfast on Saturday, brunch on Sunday, and we have lunch and dinner on uh, all the remaining days of the week. Okay. And as far as reservations, you can walk in off the street, or do you suggest them? During the summer season, when we have a full house up here at Steel Hill Resorts, it's always good to call down and reserve a table, especially if you're with a larger party. Okay. So I want to have a little toast to the Hilltop Restaurant at the Steel Hill Resort. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much.